not, sir? What has been your uh, experience so far in the event? The best part of this event is meeting people. Meeting people gives rise to meeting of the minds. And when minds meet, ideas come out. And from ideas, I think some action plans emerge. Now, this meeting actually brought in several interesting stakeholders, which generally don't bump into one another in a normal system, right? So therefore, I'm, I'm seeing young people, I'm seeing uh, other people who are doing a lot of entrepreneurial work, a lot of skill uh, training work, and a lot of uh, industrialists who are now becoming partnerships to the system. So I think it is a, it's, a, it's a wonderful union of a variety of uh, backgrounds, variety of minds, and I think in some sense, variety of aspirations. So this is a happening uh, time for the country. Thank you. And as an educator, having witnessed how things have uh, changed in the past 21 months, what have been your observations and what do you think is going to be the future of education, if I can say that? I think uh, one of the most important, stunning take-homes of these times, I think, are two important aspects. One, technology has become pervasive, number one. Number two, post-COVID realization is extremely intriguing. We have never dreamt of this. We are part of it now and this is a new normal. So in this union point, technology is coming into our functioning in a very deep manner. Yeah. So this actually opens up a variety of opportunities. Even the hinterland of the country is waking up now. The mobile penetration has given the power in our youth to look at the system, to interrogate the system and to learn from the system. So you can see there is a new awakening. Now the question is, can we, can we harness this? Yeah. If we can harness this very well through technology, through innovations, through inspirations, our ability to enrich the system, our ability to give new products, new processes will significantly improve. And more tangibly, our gross enrollment ratios, our male-female balances in our system, our ability to connect with the world changes dramatically. So with all this, I think India will reinvent itself. Otherwise, India has been a corner somewhere sitting with all the powers hidden. I think now the powers will come out and some of these uh, summits I think will trigger the opportunities for that and in the post-COVID era, students are learning more or less on their own. This I think is a fantastic realization. They are not overwhelmed by physical presence of the institutes, physical presence of the teachers. So they are actually sitting in their homes thinking about what should I do with my life? That is an important question and they are able to find some answers. I think that is a sleeping joint waking up in my opinion. Thank you. And uh, I must add that your views contrast significantly with that of uh, people or educators in the school education system. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's I mean we are a con contrasting views. Indeed, Let indeed. us assume everybody is correct. Let us just move on. <laughs> this is my dictum. Thank you very much, Professor, for Thank those you. insightful Thank comments. You. Thank, Thank you. you.